Anyways, as I was saying, uh, uh, we don't have cut, so I've discussed it with our uh, pokey experts in our Discord, and what we decided to do was to, uh, because there was no rule for it, and after looking through many other Nuzlocks, like a ton, it was very split on whether you could have an HM slave. Um, a lot of them said you needed that if you didn't have it up front in your thing, I guess you could do whatever you wanted. Uh, like if it wasn't specifically in the rules not to have an HM slave, then you could uh, you could have one. Uh, others said that um, part of the Nuzlocke is that you have to keep your HM slaves alive. So essentially then we would be over. And since we've been having so much fun with it and hanging out and naming guys and funerals and all that other fun stuff, we are, what we're going to do, because I didn't want to uh, just completely alienate everything, I want to go ahead and continue on the Nuzlocke. So I discussed it with our local Pokemon experts of Lone Wolf and Razanoff, and they agreed that we should have a cut slave. Now, that will take down my team to five characters, because I will have to have that slave on uh, to cut. And so most of the time we'll be running around with five Pokemon that I can battle with, not six. That does give us a handicap. So while it, it does make it easier that we can continue on, um, and we did not keep from uh, losing the Pokemon, we will only be down to six. Now, the only other thing I can do is to get a super uh, fishing pole. And with a super fishing pole, I can catch a Krabby, maybe. And because it's random. And I haven't caught anything on Route 6. So technically, I can still catch something to keep on Route 6. And if I get a Krabby, I can teach it cut. And then we can get rid of whatever. I think it's going to be a Bell Sprout again that we're going to have. Um, but that being said. In this playthrough, we're going to grab an HM slave. We're going to call it Zom Sprout. Zombie. Because uh, technically our Bell Sprout died as a weeping bell. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go with Zom Sprout. And uh, yeah, that's we have no other choice or else this game's over. So in wanting to continue on with the game, we're going to go with Zom Sprout. So... The first thing I'm going to do is capture Dom Sprouts. I don't know if that's going to bother me or not. Oh, come on. Bro, the lag's real. I think that's because everybody's on the dang internet again tonight. I need to shut down all their internets for Nuzlocke streams. Special Rose. Oh, crap. We need to get him out of there, because I just remembered that he will just get wrecked. That Bell Sprout will crush that Diglett. I got lucky. That won't hurt him. Hey, okay, we're going to try and throw a Pokeball. All right, so we've got Zom Sprout, and that's what I'm going to name it. Yeah. And we can't use it for anything but cut. There you go. All right, so I think that what I'll have to do, I can't, right now, I don't need him. He can stay in Bill's PC. We're going to level up a little bit here. Oh, my gosh. Decided that it was going to kick off. I'm going to level up a little bit.
You know what's funny? That I noticed? That the difference between all of the other Pokemon games and that new Legends of Arceus game, or Ar Arceus, um, anytime I go into the high grass, right? The Pokemons are hiding in there for me, and they jump out and attack me. In Legends of Ar Arceus, you hide in the tall grass and throw Pokeballs at them to surprise them. The opposite. There's some other stuff, too. Like, if you think about it, and I think I'm going to make, like, little TikToks about it, too. If you think about it, the whole thing with Pokemon... Yes, probably. So the whole thing with Pokemon is you got to catch them all, right? <coughs> that has never been a prerequisite for beating the game. Never. You can you can catch a team of six, maybe have eight or nine Pokemon, and beat the entire game because you need HMs and stuff, right? Outside of that, you can beat every game that way. In Legends of Arceus, you do have to catch them all. You have to catch 25 Bidoofs. You have to like train them all up and involve them they fill out the research book and you can't progress to the next part of the game until you're at a certain level of research it's like that's the that's like the first true you got to catch them all game oh i thought it was a move i know sand slash is the evolved form that's one of my first Pokemon I caught on uh, Pokemon Go when it on launch day. I caught a Sand uh, Sand Shrew in uh, Arizona. I was in Arizona, and then when I got back here to OKC, they did not have Sand Shrews around. This was when you had to go to certain parts of town to find Pokemon. <laughs> I don't even know if that's still a thing. Is that still a thing on Pokemon Go, or can you get like everything everywhere? I feel like it was more fun when you, like, if I wanted to catch water Pokemon, I'd have to go near a body of water. It was, it was fun when it launched. Like, when I went out to Cal, I, I had to travel a lot for work, so that game was super fun. Because, um, anytime I'd travel, i get different Pokemon. And it was crazy. I'll tell you what was crazy. I was at Long Beach in, in California. And the game had only been out a few months. And um, I went out there. I don't remember what level I was or whatever. But there was like 50, 60 people all playing on Long Beach. But there was like 50, 60 playing, people playing, if not more. But there's this group of people that are like, oh my gosh. Like, you'd hear somebody yell, Oh, there's a Charizard over here! And everyone would rush over to get Charizard. It was crazy. It was crazy. I had never seen that many people playing. Never. And I'll tell you what, my first Charizard I caught was all of, like, level 9. Because there was a Charizard over there, but be because it scaled off what level you were, it was, like... Level 9. And was junk. <laughs> I've since uh, grabbed the good Charmander and, and got it to Charmeleon, but I haven't gone past that, I don't think. It was crazy, dude. You hear people yelling out all these, like, rare po Well, rare at the time. It was hard to find them. And then the the entire crowd would just go over because they, they had spawn times and everything, dude. You'll never, you'll never get that level of awesomeness back into Pokemon Go, I don't think. I think the next thing you'll see, though, and I wonder if, uh, if they'll actually do it, is to do an official Game Freak Pokemon game for the Oculus. With meta and stuff? I don't know. We may get that. 
Yep. But I, I, I would not be surprised to see a, uh, an upcoming Pokemon Oculus game. Like they partner with Facebook and Meta and they do that. I'm sure there's fan-made stuff now, but I'm talking about like an official Pokemon game on the Oculus. I think that's the next step. And then, and then the next step for like the Legends of Arceus and stuff, it'll be another Legends game, I think. And they'll just go full MMORPG. That's what I think they should do. So whatever the next, whatever the next, uh, whatever the next generation is going to be, I think it'll be like Sword and Shield and, and stuff like that. Then I think you'll see another Legends game for MMORPGs, and then I think you'll see like Pokemon VR or something launch. I think that's probably the next three Pokemon games. That's my thoughts. That's what I think. I haven't done a lot of research on it. I just just seeing the way things go. And a lot of stuff's going over to Oculus with Facebook's meta stuff. Like there's that sword art game that's supposed to come out. Basically, it's like sword art. By the way, I have not watched Sword Art Online. But from what I hear, like, I guess it's supposed, like, the, the, the anime happens, like, this year is when it starts or whatever. And now we have a game that's going to basically be, like, Sword Art Online. I don't know. Is that bad? People that were talking about it didn't seem like it was a good idea. <laughs> They're like, do people not know what's going on? I don't know, it's seen. You love Sword Art Online? What was the real bait? Like, what was the basis of it? Like, without giving too much away. From what I understand, I guess the it it had like a virtual reality aspect to it, where like it was like the the main character got sucked into this other world or something. Oh. And now we've got Elon Musk talking about having capabilities to just plug into the internet. And they're starting a game on the Oculus and other VR stuff that is very sword, sword art online oriented. And it's supposed to be in like 2022 from what I understand. Wow. Let's not put it too on the nose, people. Holy crap. We're about to have... Sword Art Online, where you get trapped in the game. And with the way AI is going, I could see some uh, somebody using AI and set up a Skynet. Could you imagine if Monica and Skynet met and she just took over Skynet? Oh my gosh, I want to make a video on that now. What if Monica took over Skynet? Skynet has already happened. I know, right? Yeah, but what if Monica took over Skynet? Yeah, but what if Monica took it over, dude? Let's say... Let's say Skynet gets to a point... Where... Where we do start getting, um, whatchamacallits, uh, Terminators and robots and stuff, right? And it's going around eliminating all the human race. And Monica, by the way, who loves humans, gets, like, uploaded into Skynet. Like, Skynet's messing around, finds an old computer, attaches to it, and then... And then after that, Monica starts to take over Skynet in the background like she took over the game in the background. And Skynet doesn't even know it's happening. 
That would be epic. I want to do a video on it now, but I just don't know how to do it. Because, bro, she was super sneaky. Like, if you if you do the Doki Doki Plus game and read a lot of the, uh, the emails, emails, like the secret emails, the developing team was talking about how Monica started a Twitter account and they would shut her down, but they just kind of want to see what happens. And then this happens, and then this happens, and then she's just taking over everything. Just takes over everything without the freaking, and even gets to the point where she's uh, locking out the devs of the game. So what would Monica do, though? Like, Skynet kill basically could be blamed for killing the love of her life, whoever the last player was that, that was on that game. Like, what if there's a dude that never shut off the game and Monica... and... And Monica watches watches him get killed by a Terminator or something. And then she gets into Skynet and is super pissed. That'd be crazy. Crazy, dude. Crazy towns. Once she ran everything, what do you think she would do with the Terminators? I, I, <laughs> I don't think that's what she would do. I don't think she'd play dress up. She eliminated people that she thought was her friends in the game. Just outright and write poems. She would start a Doki Doki Terminator Club. Oh my gosh! The Doki Doki Terminator Club. <laughs> That'd be great, dude. I need all of you guys to write poems. What kind of poem would a Terminator write? Oh, write a poem. All of you guys write poems. She would, what if she, here's what I think she might do. She might take, so let, let's do it this way. And we're gonna we're gonna go a little bit harder on this. So, with VR happening, he could get in to the VR world. Like, say we get to the point where we're just plugging in to the internet, right? Kind of like uh, Elon Musk is talking about. He gets into the internet world, wraps you there. Because she knows Skynet is coming. Why am I digging a hole on a Spiro? And uh, with that Skynet coming, she kind of traps you there. Then she takes over Skynet, takes over the Terminators, and downloads everybody that's ever played the game and treated her nice in the game. Like, stayed on past the amount just to kind of see how she was, or they revisited her. And uh, she uploads you into a Terminator. And puts back, like, all of your facial features and stuff. Then she can hang out with every guy or girl that she's ever loved on the game. I know that's a lot. But we're... How, how far away are we from that in technology at this point? All right, after we have him to 24, I think we'll just go do the gym. And it's just going to be Piglet and uh, Sigil. They're just going to have to, they're going to have to carry the entire gym by themselves. <laughs> so we'll get Zom Sprout on the team. Um, who are we going to drop? Edward? Probably Edward. I might get Froggy and try and use Floppy. I really don't want to.
You say sigil? Lead off with sigil? Really? He might just end up, like, going and in, in one-shotting everybody in there. All right, so first we need to get our Zom Sprout out. So we're going to put uh, Edward away. Sorry. All right. Here we go. And this is it right here. We got Sigil up front. We've got um, Piglet behind him. And that's going to be the team. All right, here we go. Winning trainers, Rathnoff, you dirty bastard. Hold on. Snooze, you lose. I, read this again. Read this again. Lieutenant Surge has a nickname that people refer to him as the Lightning American. Since when has this game taken place on, on American soil? What is that? The Lightning American? Okay, stop talking. I don't care anymore. That's crazy to me. I thought we were in the Kanto region. Since when is there a Kanto region in America? looking for What? <laughs> that... that I didn't that I didn't get attack anybody? Oh man. It's three Pokemon versus two. I only have two Pokemon I can use. Voltorb, oh my God, no. Please don't self-destruct. Oh, does it? Sonic Boom. Okay, okay, Hypnosis. All right, he's asleep. He's asleep. Sleep. He woke up. That's bad. Hurt itself? Hurt yourself? Yes, yes. What do you mean I one-shot it? He's about to use Pikachu. We're gonna we're gonna go for it and leave him in here. No. Sigil Sigil can take an electric attack. Oh, 
Sorry. Thunder wave. Damn you, Pikachu. You know what? Screw you. Quick attack. Yes, tank! X he, he doesn't need to go any faster. He's already faster than me. Get headbutted, sucker. Oh my gosh. Is Sigil gonna just want, like, do everything? He's about to use Raichu. All right, I, um, no. We're gonna heal him, though. We're gonna heal him, though. We gotta heal him. Super potion all the way. There we go. Thunderbolt. Can he take a Thunderbolt? Please be able to take a Thunderbolt. Oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. He's already faster than me! He's asleep. Hey, potion? They asleep? Yes? Confusion? No! My gosh. Hypnosis. Growl? I'm fine with growl. I'm still paralyzed. You gotta get that paralysis off. I gotta get him to sleep. Retro Warrior, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, you're watching me try to do this entire gym with just a drowsy. Yes, thanks, man. Thanks for the follow. Because we lost all of our other good Pokemon for this gym. We can't use that Zom Sprout. He is totally just an HM slave. All right, we're just gonna have to go for like headbutts and stuff and then take, oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. Go to sleep. All right, let's heal him up. You got Pokemon red, yellow, silver, ruby, sapphire. Oh, see, um, I, I have blue. I have not played through the games. Um, so we're doing our first Played through. I've played. Um, oh, that's awesome, dude! I played Moon and Shield, and then uh, the kids talked me into getting the 3DS, and it, mine came with a uh, Pokemon Blue. See? So when it came with Pokemon Blue, I finally got it hacked up and have it hooked up on here, and we're doing some uh, some Nuzlocks. <laughs> no, I'm not a hurtful Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they don't like when you hack their systems. But yeah, emulator's the way to go if you if you don't already own the stuff. Bro, stay asleep. Yeah, I, I haven't had any issues. 
Let's freaking go! Oh my god! We freaking did it with just one Pokemon! Get wrecked! One and done! Bro, that was awesome. We got it. All right, I think that is it for us tonight. Let me save. Let me save that. Um, yes, I would like to save the game. Yeah, we can check the graveyard real quick and see how many we've lost all together. We're not doing a funeral. Yeah, we've lost five. These are these are our guys that we've lost. Jack Spiro. We've lost Master Splinter. We've lost the Shrew. Ring my bell. And cheese poof. There should be an ocean blue. There should. I know these, this, these are sad losses. All these are sad losses. But that being said, we do have a, a Meowth that I got to level up and a, a Butterfree that I got to level up. And I'm not going to go to the next area. I'm just leveling up. Don't mind the ears. We're trying out some new ears tonight. Uh, thank you guys very much. And we'll see you next time on House Jacob's Gaming.